on traffic every five minutes. When you need to know, Here we go. Got you covered. Oh, that's we loud. New York's traffic station, WCBS News Radio 80. 55 degrees and clear, headed down to 48 degrees in New York City. WCBS News Time 1004. Lots of unanswered questions in New Jersey after a stabbing at a Newark home leaves three people dead and three others injured. Police say the victims who were killed were an 8-year-old girl, an 11-year-old boy, and a 23-year-old woman. Officials say the stabbing happened just after 4 o'clock at a home in Hedden Terrace. Newark Mayor Ross Baraka says he is shaken by the incident. About uh, I have young uh, children of my own, and you know, kind of makes my stomach churn uh, to imagine uh, the kind of horrific scene that took place uh, this evening. Essex County Prosecutor Carolyn Murray says police are now on the hunt for a person of interest identified as 26 year old Jeremy Arrington. Aware of or comes into contact with Mr. Arrington should understand that that is um, an individual who is wanted for for uh, questioning. Also, that individual has a warrant currently in an unrelated matter and should be considered armed and dangerous. He is wanted in an unrelated case for sexual assault as well as aggravated assault. You can see his picture on our website, cbsnewyork.com. Essex County's major crimes task force working with North Police on this case. Residents in the area say the family who lives at the residence is very nice and they are shocked that this happened in their neighborhood. He made the ultimate sacrifice on the job, and tonight a candlelight vigil held in honor of NYPD Sergeant Paul Tuzolo. WCBS reporter Mike Smeltz files this report from Long Island. Tuzolo was a hero. The community here in Huntington came out to support one of their own, NYPD Sergeant Paul Tuzolo. The light posts are wrapped in blue ribbons in remembrance for the 19-year NYPD veteran. It was completely silent throughout the vigil. The only sound on the shutdown street was from the speakers who paid tribute to the sergeant. Suffolk County Police Commissioner Tim Sini says Tazula's murder is the result of a job thousands do every day to serve and protect. It's law enforcement that stands in between our communities and the criminals. And each and every day we have to do our best to support our law enforcement. In Huntington, Mike Smeltz, WCBS News Radio 880. Meanwhile, we are learning more about Sergeant Tuzolo and the life he shared with his family. Here's WCBS reporter Sophia Hall. Where police cruisers are parked near NYPD Sergeant Paul Tuzolo's house. The house he shared with his wife and two children. His children, two boys, are ages three and four. The 41-year-old sergeant was a 19-year veteran of the force. Tuzolo grew up in Bayville and several years ago moved to this tree-lined street here in Huntington with his family. His neighbor, FDNY EMT Eric Brightfield, told me. I think everybody's feeling the same way. We're all pretty devastated. It's hard because you, you, you have to wonder how his, his wife with the kids, it's, you can't even imagine what they're going through. Another neighbor said this should have never happened and the sergeant should still be alive. Sophia Hall, WCBS News Radio, 880. WCBS News Time, 1007. Traffic and weather together is 60 seconds away, and we have an accident on the Belt Parkway in Brooklyn. Morning sports anchor Brad Heller. As someone right, well, that's moved from go. apartment to See apartment, 